All right, welcome back. New episode of Imperion. Today I am going to eat food. Holy cow, I didn't even see that. But today we need to start our cap vessel. Let's see about food here real quick. Holy cow, I know about the food. Jeez. How did that get past me? Uh, let's see. Oh, no. That brief time where I had no power really took a toll, apparently. Oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, devices, cargo box, manufacturing outbox access, please. Yes, capital vessel, thank you. Now, actually, I also need, not that. There we go. Energy and fuel, components, capital vessel access. Uh, I don't see... Any of the major main building blocks must be under the other one. Uh, base? Yeah. Uh, steel. Uh, I need better than steel, though. Well, since I need building blocks, I'm going to take a quick trip back. In the direction of um, the base that I was salvaging earlier. There it is, the power station. Which is not what I have. I have the spaceport model. Now modified. I actually, I now that I have modified it, I ought to put it up as um, for not not for sale for uh, you know people to subscribe to. Bloop. All right, let's salvage. I'm gonna tell you, it's a lot easier to salvage blocks as opposed to well, I suppose retrieve and salvage are different things. It's a lot easier to retrieve blocks if you don't accidentally destroy the computer core. Much, much easier. Well, I'll just give that up. <clears throat> and this thing right here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I'll have to have, make my own. Latch. Thank you. All right, so let's use what few I actually got to get something started, so. Uh, I wish they wouldn't open when you stand on them. That I find annoying. I do not yet know, I will tell you right now, where I want hardened steel, steel. So I don't want to waste hardened steel on anything. Um, let's just do this. It doesn't actually help, but, you know, it's available. Right down the middle. Let's put it right down the middle. Boom. Okay. And... Boom, put it up there so that we can work under it. It's an important detail, you know. Boom. All right. We have a capital vessel. Doesn't it look like one? Yeah. Well, I'm probably going to have to put a few more supports before this goes on. But I'm going to have to manufacture some blocks. Because I have the outline. I have the outline of this vehicle. I do, there's so much about it I do not yet know, but I think I'm going to have an easier time figuring it out in 3D, as opposed to trying to draw it on uh, engineering graph paper. Okay, here's a hundred. Let me put them away. Right, yep, yep. Hello, hello. So, let's see. I do recall this craft is going to be Diagonal, not diagonal, what am I saying? Odd. It's going to have a, the center isn't going to be between two ones, it's going to be A1. Because I have all the best terminology, right? So, I'm going to try to put this towards the middle a little bit. One, two, I, I'm going to have some hard time counting this, actually. But I, I'm going to do the outline first, and then and from there we will start to uh, explore. Mm. We have a start. With a long way to go. Done ran out of uh, blocks, so I need to make some more. All right, let's take a quick look. How high can you go? Not very. Not high enough to get to really appreciate the entire shape of the thing. But this is just the outline of one deck. The ship, I'm not sure if it's gonna be two or three or even maybe just the one deck with some extraneous bits sticking up above and below. But that's that's the shape of it. Trouble now is I'm not sure how to proceed. Like I, I'm bothered by the idea that this might just be the floor 
and the floor is literally that thick between floors. I know it's normal, but I just want them to be thinner. I suppose if there are two decks, then the floor might be... You know, like a half one? Where Where is the half? Like this guy. Trouble being... So, you know, you got a somewhat taller under area. But... That, that, I have to be careful to... With these areas somehow. Like, how does it merge up with this? I can't... There isn't a piece that's half this on top and half that on bottom, so... I suppose the inner... The inner edges don't have to be follow the contour. I mean, the important part is the external shape right now. And I'll get in some things. Like, somewhere around here, there's going to be a main thruster on either side pointing backwards, maybe another two pointing forwards. Uh, but, um, yeah, first I just need to get a feel for is this the floor, or is the floor under it? And this is the everything else? I don't know. All right. I, uh, I reclaimed the inner part to get a better idea what's going on here. I think that helps me think about floors a little bit better. Okay. Mm, oh, crap. Of course that happened. I'm getting there, though. I'm just about done filling in the floor. I am using half eyes just to express at least to myself that there's a deck underneath this at least some of it if there are multiple decks uh the middle one that we're supposedly standing on at the moment will be the most broad whereas anything above and below is likely to take up less space than this one does uh, so you remove this for a moment and one thing i do know So, okay, so they're not that big. Oh, okay, so some of them are big. Is there a symmetrical version of this? Like, can I mirror it? Because, you know, I'd like them on one side, but I'd like the one on the other side to be mirrored. And I don't see that option. Is there a mirroring option that I don't know about? Hmm, well, that stinks. One thing for sh is for sure, the command area is going to be here in front. I don't know how far back. Let's just put it here for the moment. And I did want more. So let's assume this and this. So you can see what I mean. They're not symmetrical, which is annoying. But this will way define the confines of the command room, which is right up front. It's an interesting view. All right. So, gosh, there's still so much. This isn't helping me that much. But here, here we go. It's the command room. We're going to need quarters for the crew. The crew is not too large. Like, minimum crew, I think, is like five. Uh, you know, in the game from which this comes. Uh, actually, that's not the minimum crew, because you could technically have one guy doing all rolls. But that's not wise. You know, if he dies, that's, that's it. But anyways, command room. We'll need kitchen... And dining hall, we will need quarters. We will need a medical area. We will need probably a quarantine room, you know, to keep it conceptually accurate. Uh, and then in the back, in the rear, we're going to need our engines. We're going to need thrusters. We're going to need the warp core. We're going to need the gravity generator. Can you only have one, or can you have a redundant second one? I don't know. Uh, it'd be nice if I could have two then, though, because then, uh, you know, redundancy. You know, if one gets taken out, it's not the end of the world. That's a nice view. But, um... Oh, so much to plan. Oop. 
Um, boop. I'm going to experiment briefly with getting some contours in sooner rather than later. Let's see what that leaves me with in terms of um, oh, options, I suppose. And then, so what, what does that mean? Here. Yeah, here. Here. And then... This, yep. I suppose it's good those things are right next to each other. All right, so then we can do not that, but this. Excellent, excellent. Very good. This is actually, for the moment, going easier than I anticipated. Uh, oh, except for that. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> nice. Okay, because these things protrude. Oh, but that's... That's okay. That's okay. Uh, boom. Boom. I think I'm okay with that. In fact, I'm okay with doing that twice. Like so. Boom. Whoa. What do you mean? Oh, I see. Boom, boom, boom. Bump, go to the other side. I'm just doing these now because rooms need to get around them and such. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, I know. Don't worry. I've got it covered. Uh, I'm on the other side now. Boink. Okay. Uh, so, major engine complexes with only side to side, forward and back. There's no up and down just yet. And I have absolutely no clue if these are powerful enough to do the job, but we will find out in time. Oh, let's go to the other side then. Okay, so I got thruster casings above and below. Not bad. I mean, there's a lot of work left to do, obviously. But they kind of look like what they should, and then they kind of they flare up on the edges, which I kind of like. Uh, there's going to be a ridge across the top of this all the way down, unfortunately. But I think it's going to bulk up in the center again. And you can see here, this is a bit four meters tall inside there. Still not entirely clear what I'm going to do, but for the moment I should focus on where the rooms are because I really do have to work around them. Um, lightning near the construction zone green lightning i put these in but they don't work very well look at this oh i can't even climb stairs i wasn't really super sold on them anyways but that's just unusable that's just unusable still boom what is the difference? Hmm. Will that work? Or can I take this out for more slanty? No, I'd better not. I don't know, I'm just still thinking. Command up, up front, and then crew-centric stuff in the sort of hump that goes down the middle of the ship. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that yet. Let's see. Oh, cat, come on. That cat, jeez. Um, you can see there's a bit of a, a hump building here, and then there's a flat area. And I think I'll continue that for now, but if the hump goes pretty much the entire length, then there's plenty of room for crew to do stuff, and then down here is more utilitarian things. The question that will become is, how do I separate floors? Because... Just doing this, boom, and then, I don't know, uh, let's see. <clears throat> uh, let's see, I'm just, bear with me a second. Uh, boom. So I'm not going to actually do this, but, you know, that's a really, really absurdly thick floor. Just completely uselessly thick. That's one thing I'm not really feeling about this. If I have to have six meters, let's get that said down to the ground. Wow. Six meters? Ah, for two floors. I'm not sure. Boom, boom. Having some ideas about the underside. 
Which means now I need to go to the other side too. I'll start dialing this back because I think I'm going to increase the height after all. But I'm just sitting here looking at the rear engine and how much more seamless it would be if I didn't have to try to figure out these stupid angles which don't exist in the game. And I'm like, well, you know, if that thing were just three tall, then I could have that shape pretty easily and more room inside for things. Otherwise, otherwise, I was relatively happy with these, these curves. And in front, they even don't, I mean, it's just these little nooks that are really difficult. But Undoing all this is going to take a while. Okay, we've done part of it. Oh, I just need to put the rest, or put the these shapes. Oh, nice. Right back where they need to be. Like so. Very good. And then, where are you? Boom, 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 boom. excellente. So, bulkier, but I think also more believable. It keeps the whole thing symmetrical. Uh, top and down, anyways. Up, uh, as far as this goes. Uh, it does mean uh, the room, the engine room, may be vertical, frankly. Let me uh, poke some holes in the bottom here. So, bonk, bonk, right? Bonk, bonk. So... If we put another here and another here, right? I'll have to do the. Can I reach the other side? Ooh, just barely. Boom. Boom. Okay. Back we go. So this is where people outside are stupid. You probably can't hear that, but I can. Uh, let's see. We put it all the way down. Is there a difference between these two? Stairs wedge texturable. Oh, freestanding. Texturable is good. So we'll do this. And supposedly then we can get down. Hmm. Can we? Hmm. Did that work on the other side? Yeah, it did. Okay. Uh, one still needs access. Let's uh, let's not. Let's yank that out. Boom, boom. Head over here. Do the same. Oh, yep. Should be standing in the middle somewhere, but I guess it doesn't matter that much. We'll do just these freestanding things. Like so, like so. If I do that, no, 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 that's all, that's all good. So let's uh, put the floor up just to make sure of that. Boom, 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 like so, like so, like so, and so. And now just to go backwards a little bit, I've taken out the whole floor since I think there's going to... Well, it's going to be symmetrical across the floor, so I'm just going to put them back in this solid, like so. Okay, I got... Hello? Yes. I got the... The sides done, I think. All the way up. Oh, okay, not that part. I'm still a little undecided about this. I think... From... Here on back... It will be symmetrical, top and down, but in the center and closer to the front, there are going to be humps. Maybe not, let me dispatch these. Maybe not here in the, or overhead, but one thing I definitely need is, um, a spot for terrain vehicle to get in and out hovercraft so I want it to be down here I want it to be underneath this area I just haven't quite decided how to pull that off yet oh fell off okay I'm gonna put in some temporary stuff here 
bone. Fuel cell. We need actually a good lot of engines. These are all extremely temporary. Wow. Boom. Yeah, yeah. I got all that. Boom, boom. Thank you. And thank you. And just to be safe, one facing up. <clears throat> but uh, let's see here. What else did I need? I need the, this. This is for the base because actually my armor is like practically nothing. Mm, I think that's just about it. Seven. Whoa, what happened? That's not it right. There we go. And I want it to face the other way. Okay. So presumably now we can take this ship off. Got RCSs, we've got engines. Should be able to take it off just briefly. And let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Probably don't need much. I don't think we need much. What I want to do though is essentially lift it off and put more support structures underneath because I need to work on the underside too, you know? So let's see, power up. Hey, let's group all these things. Okay, main, power, V. Hey, look at that, oh! Gosh, that thing took off. All right, uh, F, V. Let us not fall lest we never get back again. <laughs> F5. So what I want to do is uh, some more of these. Come on. Ah, dang it, Bobby. One. Two is, three is probably enough. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. I'm going to take that one back. Okay, thank you. Um, is this like underneath? Pointing up? Uh, no. This one is. And here I am off the edge. Okay, so that's not going to work. How about. Holy cow! How did that happen? I didn't hear that. Uh, let's see here. Page down, 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 down. Oh, of course that didn't work. Okay. Bear with me. This is annoying, but necessary. Oh, something keeps pressing buttons, right? Okay. So basically, whoa, geez, here, here, and here. Reclaim these. No, not that. Jeez, okay. So two from the edge. One, two, and oops, I need to get these back. Three, okay. So I sh that should land okay, and yeah, that should be okay. So let's uh, turn this off from, whoops. Okay. Right, and land it. Hello. Hello. Boom. <laughs> I already ran out of power. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's not a large uh, power supply, but it worked. We're now off the ground, which means next episode we can get uh, more done under here. So thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience. And please come again.